Hello everyone. I am so glad you have joined me today. I love sharing my ideas with you and I hope I inspire you with today's creation. Here's the card we will be making. For this card, I used the Painted Poppies set. I specifically used this image, this image, this image, the leaf, and this splatter. I also used the Butterfly Gala stamp set for my sentiment. I don't know what I've done with it, but that's where the sentiment came from, Butterfly Gala. So let's get started. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull in my dimensions. All right, and there's my measurements. I'm gonna make my card base first. So I'm going to take, and I'm gonna take my Whisper White card base, which is five and a half by eight and a half, scored it four and a fourth. And I folded it and used my bone folder. Then I took some strips of DSP from, these two are from Flowers for Every Season, and this one is the In Colored Patterned Paper Stack. Um, these strips are all a half inch by four and a fourth. So I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna add some glue to the back of this so I can get it on my card base. Um, and this is just adding a little interest. All right, and I'm gonna turn it sideways because it's easier for me to look at it that way. All right, and I'm gonna start with my striped piece and I'm gonna put it down at the bottom okay and add it the next piece I want is the wood grain piece because I want to break up my pattern so again I'm going down to the bottom I'm leaving about the same amount of space a little tiny space but I'm watching it top to bottom and then my last piece and I have to make sure that this one goes on straight up is the multicolored flower piece. Um, all right, and now these are a little longer than I need them. I have a tendency to cut them a little longer than I would need them because then I can trim them off and add those in. So there's our background created. So I'm gonna set that up there. Now I'm gonna to go to my piece of Whisper White that's two and seven eighths by four and an eighth, and I'm gonna stamp my flowers and leaves. So I'm gonna take the one flower, and I'm gonna stamp it. I've gotta look at this. I've gotta scrap there. Okay, I'm gonna put it there. All right, then I'm gonna take the other one, and I want it kind of behind this, so I'm going to mask it so that it just, I forgot to mask it on that one. So it's just kind of hiding behind there. All right, then I'm going to take, and I want, I need my other piece and I don't see it. Oh, here it is. I want to. Oh, I can't do that. Okay. I want to use um, this piece. Oh, let me get my. Let me get my leaves on first. So let me stamp my leaves. I'm gonna put one down here and one up here. All right. Now I'm gonna remove this, and I'm done with my memento. I'm gonna pull in my Magenta Madness. I need a piece of scrap paper because I wanna use this to color some of it, but I want it really light. Okay. So I'm going for, whoops, three, three stamps. So I've got it in there light. Um, I wanted some interest, so to speak. Then I'm gonna take my um, splotches, for lack of a better term, 
and I'm going to work my way around and just add some interest to my card using my splotches. And then I'm going to use the same splotches, I like my technical term there, splotches, to do the small one. And I didn't worry about coloring that. Now I have to clean this off. So I'm going to pull in my scrap paper again. I might have to go wash it. Give me a minute to wash it. All right, then I'm going to pull in my Just Jade to do my leaves. And I'm using the same splotch right there and there. And I may have off stamped those so it's not as dark, but then again, it could lighten up as it dries. All right, and I need my sentiment from my um, I can't think butterfly gala set for a little note and I'm gonna stamp that right about the center all right and then this piece I'm going to add to a piece that's three by four and a half of Magenta Madness. Give that a few seconds to set up a little and dry. Okay. All right. So I'm putting that on and once I get it where I want it, I hold it in place. This I'm going to put on my card base using dimensionals. So I've cut a bunch ready to go here. Only because I want to make sure I put a lot on here so I don't, I'm not skimpy. I don't want it to fall apart and it goes through the mail. So let's see, I'm going to put one there. And one there, get my other strip here. I've got a couple of them that I've cut. So I'm really supporting that center. All right, now I get the fun of taking off all the backs. And I think this, this pokey tool is bent, so I have to make sure I use it the right way for it to work. The tip is bent on it. Um, not sure how it happened. Might be from just throwing it in my container. <sighs> come on. One last piece that won't come off. There it goes. All right. And then I'm going to bring my card base back over. And I'm going to add my sentiment layer and I, I'm centering it side to side, top to bottom. To finish it off, I'm using a the Magenta Madness cotton ribbon and I'm going to tie a cute little bow and this ribbon is so easy to use. So I'm going to trim my ends and then this goes on with glue dots. And I put one on each side of the knot so that I kind of sandwich my two ends so that they don't give way. And there you have it. And don't forget to do the inside and the envelope. And don't you just love that pattern paper? I love the fact that it's color coordinated and I don't have to think about any of it. All my colors came from that paper. 
If you like this project today and want to make one for yourself, you can order the supplies from my online store. The link is below. Check out my loyalty program while you're on the blog so that you can see how I reward people who order from me. I would love for you to help me out on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe using the button below so you don't miss my videos. If you want to be notified when I upload a video, click the bell next to it. Thanks for visiting me today. Have a great day.